Okay, so these are the release here, yeah? like this. So if you look at it, this is the coil of which we are sketched. One, two, three, four, five. This one is the coil where they power it. This one is the contact that is linked to this. They switch this one to this, of which we have drawn it here. So the bottom one is normally closed and the up ones are normally open. So we have to trace it and see. The first one here is the 131 line. The 131 line enters this first leg at the bottom. The 161 enter the next one is the same thing they link up here is the same thing as bottom. From here we link it to the number 2. This one is the 1. This one is the 2. This one is number 3, 4, 5. So, the output of the first one to the, to the normally close of the second one, the output of the second one to the normally close of the third one, then the next one is 196. 196 leads to this place. 196 leads to this place of the number 2, which is this. Then the 245, which is this one, leads to the third one, number 3, at the normally open. They still link also to the normally close of the fourth one. Then this one is where they get the output from. So meaning, so this is where they got the output from. Your input comes in from the, let's see, from the, your input comes like this, from the breaker, and enters number three output, okay. So the input from the breaker is this wire. Comes here, okay, they linked it to this place. So we have our input here. Our output here. So let's see any other further linking that is not done at the bottom here. Okay, come on to so, here. Yeah. Okay, the common of this one to so this place. So the common of this to so this. So this is the design how it's been linked. This is Century 5000 watts stabilizer. So, for those of you asking how it's been linked to the relay, this is how the connection is. Now, these lines you see here one, two, three. They help in stabilizing the voltage output and they are connected to the ICs. They help to give you a fixed voltage. Why the up and down of the light, the help in generating the output. Now, this line you see at least to 220K. From the 220K, they take it to a diode. To convert it to a DC before it enters the, before it enters the IC. That's why when you look here, trace it to this place, you see some 220. One, two, three. That's it. One, two, three. They link to a diode. This, this, this is a diode here. This is it. 
then he died for his two. Let me see. Okay, these two. Yeah, these two. See how simple it is. Before they now form some systematic arrangement here before he enters the IC. But what we know is that if he does anything between him and the IC, it's just going to be another resistor to give a good voltage to give a good voltage biasing. So once again, for those of you asking how the transformer is being linked, this is how it's being linked. So once again, thank you.